This is the command section on my last week's video and everybody asked about that baseline. And if community asks, I show. And I have something very exciting actually. These headphones, I'm looking forward to talk about that, but we will come to that later in the video. The base in question is this. And on top of that, I'm actually going to show a trick that makes a bass line like this. So to make a bass line like this, I would actually suggest creating the pattern first, because pattern will have a little meaning on how bass line sounds. So idea is a little bit syncopation, but also playing around, so do it at the same time. I like to start off with bass line, and then like some type of syncopation. Da -da 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 -da. Want to go for that vibe, right? If you're having problem actually, it can help to play with the metronome. Metronome could be your kick. Right? Then we can go for and then you can come up with a chord progression that you like. Keep it simple, don't go too crazy. Now we have something like this. And the one thing that I like to do is actually the passing notes. Passing notes are the notes around the end of each bar or two, like this. And then here, adds a playfulness to the melody. And depending on the vibe that you are going for, I may suggest like a, you can shorten this up. If you create a plug envelope, the length will be a bit less obvious, but we will come back to that later. So we have this. Playful already. And then we will go for the sub bass. I like to keep my sub bass simple because most of the playfulness of the bass actually comes from the top bass. And this can actually be reflected to the pattern as well. To make the sub bass stronger, we actually syncopate less, so the sub bass is sustained more. Right? It's not the same. It makes the sub bass overall a bit stronger. I keep my sub basses simple. Single slider, relatively sustained envelope, and the split envelope goes a tiny bit on the cutoff filter. And we are on the mono. If your top end is not really plucky enough, you can actually saturate and make the sub bass a bit stronger. But in this case, we keep this punt like this. Just a simple bass. Super short break. I have a show in Helsinki, Finland this Saturday and in two weeks on London. Each one of these have been tons of fun and meeting you has been one of the top moments of this year. If you wanna come, join me. Links are on the description. Top ad. Everybody's waiting for that part. You can use any synths that you like. I'm gonna use Hive simply because I like Hive's filter and analog engine. And its distortion is also cool as well. So it gives me overall this really modern analog sound that I'm looking for, for this type of basses. It just makes it easier, but you can of course reach a similar sound with other synthesizers as well. The first thing I'm gonna go is actually mono. And I'm gonna go to wavetable and pick one of my own wavetables from CS Square. It's a bit square waveform but like a slightly soft toothish. We go one octave down. It has this full sound. I'm gonna go for the dirt envelope. It gets a bit thicker on the low end, especially if you like it to start resonating or using a little filter movement, which we will do. So right? Bring the cutoff and then we need an envelope to modulate this filter. So we go something like a more plucky envelope here and then start affecting it to the filter. A bit more release. And we can adjust the amplifier envelope as well. Maybe it should be short. This is the base of the sound. So the one thing that I'm gonna do, activate the sub one and turn it actually one octave up. So using another stop oscillator in exactly the same form. This is like slight square sound. We bring it down. See that? Do you hear that color? Because we are opening this up, these high notes, we want filter to like open up when those high notes play. So the easiest way to do is key follow, right? And it gets darker when the low notes are playing. At the moment, we don't have any stereo information and we will fix it. Activate those later two and go for the unison and we will pick two. So one to the right, one to the left. We hear the unison now. However, we're gonna bring the volume down so we don't want it all the time playing. That, right? Just gives this slight stereo information that makes it sound a bit better. And then final sub later. Again here. 
Most of the bulk of the sound is here, but we have to like make it a bit thicker. First with the distortion, soft clip. Right? Without. Bring this body to the front. A little bit EQ. Of course, we don't need the low end of the sound. We have the sub bass. First, I'm going to cut the low end and boost a bit on the mids. Do you hear how warm and dirty it sounds? And from there, we need the saturation. Brighten up a little bit. Because we're also boosting the highs and driving at the same time. Important part, sidechain the kick. Bring the groove in. And then one more EQ because I want the depth brighter. The more important thing is actually mixing this with the sub bass, so together they work nicely, right? Right? However, we are not done yet. I want to make this like a moving feel to the top sound. In this case, we have a delay over here, and we're gonna stand there a bit, our top bass only. And what you can do actually, take that delay sound and use a sidechain compression so that even the delay really pumps with the bass. This was only the individual sounds, so we need to glue them together as well. Now I'm gonna put everything into kick, low end and top bass. This will be a bit wild and you don't need to do all this much, but when I was making this bass actually I was experimenting quite with this new plugin. That time it was a knee old and I used quite a bit of it. You can use your own tape saturation and compression as well. I was just experimenting with this one. It sounded really nice and warm. And then we have this compression. This is doing a really small amount, really. And then we have this tape machine, marble. See that? It kind of adds this like a, a bit boost on low end, sub part especially, and a bit like a dirt kind of. The reason this bass sounds so warm is actually all the small saturations that we did all the way. Those really add up. The first part was using higher as CS wavetable, then using the dirty filter, which makes the sound already quite a bit warm, and then driving the top line into the saturation and driving whole group into another saturation. It makes everything really groove together and glue together. It's a beautiful bass sound. I make these presets often times for myself and I share it. This was actually a preset from my high preset pack, doing those extra saturations to make it a bit warmer. But the core sound was just a preset from my preset pack. And if you don't know, you can actually download this on my Patreon and play around more. My training files are there. Take a look. Before we jump, I actually want to talk about the headphones. First of all, for full transparency, these headphones are sent to me and they actually sponsor the video as well, but they don't see it in advance. All the things that I say are my own opinions and I'm very careful for this type of sponsorship and I only accept them if the product is really good. And in this case, I don't want to be super excited. These headphones, Austrian Audio HI Hi X20, they cost around $150 and they sound really, really, really good. Overall, the sound is very crispy. The low end is punchy. The sub is audible, which is very important for techno songs, I think, especially techno house songs. Most of this type of headphones like have a huge roll off. This has slightly roll off as well, but it's still good enough that you can really sit down and produce techno with this one as well. And other thing is this has really soft cushions, like here, super light. It is plastic mostly, so that's the reason why they are so light, but they are pretty sturdy, I will say. <laughs> I genuinely, really 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 like these headphones and this will be my traveling headphone going forward i like it that much and if you are looking for a headphones in this price range i will 100 percent recommend you give this a try and try other headphones and i'm sure you will be surprised with the sound quality you are getting with the price tag of these headphones maybe people think that i'm telling it because this is sponsored but i really enjoy these headphones and this actually made me take a look at the other headphones they are selling because if this is the quality of their entry level headphones i'm curious about the other headphones that they sell and i'm gonna give it a try but let's go back that final trick if you want to go for that side trance inspired sound like this take a synth like serum right 
you will be told like bring down the random, create a plugin envelope like this, and then play around with the old pass filter to even play more with the phase. I'm using disperser, and then shut to into your kick, and then you have this sound. This is the shortest explanation of Psy sound. This is kind of done billion times, so lately I'm looking for other ways to make similar sounds but still have the same vibe. So what I come up with is actually, you can instead of using regular waveforms, like salted like that, you can take a kick sample instead for your bass. Serum actually has already a kick sample in it, it's called I Can Has A Kick. It's a kick sample, sounds like a kick. But because of that initial pitch envelope here, the timbre of the sound has like this side bass weird phase sound. If you put a filter on top, <laughs> this sounds super cool. And you can still of course use something like old pass filter, like a disperser, and play more with the phase of the sound. Make it even weirder. What happens with this type of sound, they often lack the low end, so you can actually layer this with a low layer like this. Right? So that it still has a strong power on the low end. And then you get this like a different version of Psy Trans bass with your own take. I'm not gonna be able to share this exact because I'm using it on my own track. I will share it after I release the track. For the kick sample, it's actually coming from my new Seismic Techno kicks. Super cool kicks. Hopefully I finished it. When you see this video, check the links below. But if you want to learn more about bass and how to make it cool, I have another video over here.